Hello, thanks for joining me on this video today. I thought I'd take you a little, a little tour of our church as we prepare to have in-person worship again on Sunday, May 31st, Pentecost Sunday. We're gonna have church at eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, just like normal. Um, we'll also have our online worship, but it's gonna be at 10.30 um, because it's gonna be recorded on Sunday morning and it will be uploaded by 10.30 on our online formats, Facebook, YouTube, and, uh, and our webpage. So, uh, but I'd like to give you a tour so you have a little bit of an expectation of what uh, St. Edwards is gonna be like on this Sunday as we, we come to church. So come along with me and we'll see what's going on. By the way, don't forget to wear red on Pentecost if you come. You can wear it at home too, that'll be great. Over here, we're gonna have a Lake Cares Food Pantry drop-off. And uh, so you'll be able to drop off your items so we can continue to help our neighbors in our community uh, with their needs of food and different items. Um, the Even if you're not coming necessarily for in-person worship, but you would like to uh, drop something off, you can do that, then head home for the 1030 online time of worship. It will be available from 8 o'clock in the morning till around 11 o'clock uh, that morning. So please uh, uh, continue to do that if you're able to. Come on this way. One of the things you'll be able to do is decide whether it's appropriate for you to come to our in-person worship or if you're going to wait a few weeks or, or a month before you come. It's totally fine. No pressure. Um, we're glad to see you, um, and we, but we also know at the same time that it might not be appropriate for your situation um, to come. So go ahead and feel free to make that decision um, if for any reason, whether this you feel that this is not uh, quite right for you or if it's too restrictive, stay home and join us online at 1030. But here's what, the, here's what it's gonna look like inside. So when you come in, there's gonna be a vestry person right here, and they're going to have a, a, a pen and a paper here, and they're gonna go ahead and take your name. The reason for that is so that we can go ahead and in, just in case someone has the virus on the particular Sunday that you came, um, that we can notify you um, if, and let you know that there's a possibility that you've been exposed to the virus. So just in case that situation was to arise, we'll have the name of uh, attendance of who was here at the eight o'clock service or the 10 o'clock service. If you look over here, um, this is where you'll be able to drop your, your offering, your pledge and, uh, and drop it in there. We have a nice little hand sanitizing station in each one for you to go ahead and make sure that, uh, that you're being uh, well cleaned and um, so you'll be able to do that. If you look on the floor here, we have some tape marked out just a little over six feet so we can maintain proper social distancing and uh, we can be safe in, in that way. Over here on this counter, you'll notice another hand sanitizing station. I, uh, please do sanitize your hands as you, as you come into the church to keep uh, the church fully sanitized. Um, also, you'll see some nice little signs that remind you for the social distancing. Over here we have our, our mask area, and if you uh, uh, forgot to bring a mask, we'll have a few here. I do strongly, strongly encourage you to bring a mask if you have one, um, so that we have, because we have a minimum supply of masks, as, as you probably know, they're not the easiest things to get these days. And so um, if, you if you have a mask, please bring that and wear that so we don't run out on the first weekend. But um, but we'll have some masks here if you don't have one or if you forgot yours at home or whatever the case may be. So, and we will all be wearing masks in the church for, for the safety. So coming in a little bit further, again, you'll see some more signs for the uh, social distancing. You'll also notice that all the pews, every other one is roped off uh, so that we can maintain the social distancing and you'll be able to sit right in, right in here. A family of four or five will probably fill an entire pew. Um, if you have a, say a single person and a couple, please sit on opposite uh, sides of the pew to maintain that social distancing that we have to have, to have with the diocesan guidelines. Um, 
the, uh, we are only able to have 50 uh, people in here for worship, and so we are fairly limited. So there will be plenty of room for 50 folks, um, but please do spread out if the, if the people that are on your pew are not in your current social uh, distance circle. And, uh, and so we'll have that. When the, uh, um, as we go into the, the, the service more, there'll be instructions from, from myself up from the altar about different ways. During the peace, uh, please remain in your pew area as well. You will be invited row by row um, uh, for communion, which will be in one kind only, which will be the bread. And uh, they'll, we'll explain how that's going to work on Sunday in more detail. Uh, at the end, after the dismissal, um, a vestry person will also can, come and dismiss each row one at a time um, as, we, as, we, as you proceed out. Um, please make sure you use the, the narthex, which we came in. That'll be our only door that we're coming in and out of outside of an emergency. Um, so that way things will uh, continue to be uh, clean um, as we and our social distancing will be easier to you to have uh, so and then you can make your way out and into the lawn I do uh, please keep the social distancing the whole time you're on campus and um, that way we'll be following the guidelines that that we need to for safety um, please know that our church will be it's been cleaned before um, our uh, our time of worship at eight o'clock it'll be cleaned in between service and sanitized and then of course it will be cleaned after the 10 o'clock time of worship as well and so you feel hopefully you'll feel safe to join us on sunday um, again if not please join us for our 10 30 online time of worship we're also going to have our healing service at noon on Wednesday starting June 3rd and instead of it meeting in the chapel it will meet here in the sanctuary so that again we can have our proper social distancing and um, so we'll be um, and then if you do want to talk with someone you can keep your you can chat with them out in the uh, front lawn and we really do hope that uh, you're able to come on Sunday and uh, you and uh, we'll be able to worship together. Even if we only see each other's eyes as our faces are covered by masks, it'll be good at least to, to see each other um, and worship together. And if you choose to go uh, worship online, that'll be great as well. And we'll continue that going forward. So thank you so much. And uh, we hope to see you either here at St. Edward's or online this Sunday. Blessings to you. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, be safe. Amen.